Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We have literally just arrived in China, hence why I probably look very, very tired. We travelled from Manchester yesterday and we've just landed this morning. If you haven't already seen that vlog, I will link it up there so you can go and check it out. But it is now officially our first day, even though we kind of missed the night and we are just about to head out into the city and see what we can find. So let's go. We're currently looking for somewhere to eat because the last time we ate was on the plane and if you watch that vlog, you'll know the breakfast wasn't the best for me because I hate beans so I didn't eat it. Um, um, and also Rach hate, hates beans too and hers had beans so she didn't eat hers either basically oh, they've got Tim Hortons Devs oh, if you didn't know Devs is Canadian <laughs> um, so yeah so now we're on the hunt for some food also it's quarter past 11 so it's like it's nearly lunchtime we've been up for a lot of hours so here we go we're not just planning to like be in um, westernized shops and stuff all the time but also being vegan in asia is not the easiest or at least not this part of asia so if i can find anything i can eat then that's where we're going to eat basically and hopefully we'll at least get to try some chinese food look at this though tim hortons so tim hortons is there subways is there kfc is there Honestly, this is amazing and it's very empty considering this is like a major city. There's literally no one around. Okay, we've come to see what they've got at KFC. Not expecting much, but the problem is there's literally no English anywhere. Look at this little train! <laughs> this is amazing! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, okay, we found Starbucks. Hopefully this is good. Look at these cakes, they look well nice. Oh no gosh, it's in English! Scrambled egg and roast pork sandwich, almond toast, walnut cheese bread, walnut raisin soft bread. Good news is, yeah, they have plant-based choice. So they basically got oat, oat milk. And didn't you say there was another kind of milk? I'm not a coffee drinker, so it doesn't really mean that much to me. And there's no oat oh, almond, there's no vegan food, but still it's pretty good. Look at this, it's got three minutes and eight seconds left. And then I guess it just runs out and you just leave it. It's kind of like those like scooters you can borrow. There's another restaurant. Problem is, there's literally no English anywhere, so it's very yeah. scary. It's like, if you want English, you have to stick to what you already know. If you want yeah. To Chinese, it's totally fine. Yeah. Like, like, I don't mind the idea of eating Chinese food, but I just need to know it's vegan, which is, doesn't seem like I can ensure that before we go in. And then once you're in, it's kind of too late, isn't it? We found something called V Times Market. We don't really know exactly what that means. Yeah, so basically this is just like a huge supermarket. We're just gonna have a little gander, see what we can find. Because at some point I'm gonna have to eat something and it might have to be from somewhere like this. What is going on here? Oh my god. It goes, I don't know where it goes to. Oh my god, this is amazing. See, I told you we needed to go to supermarket, guys. <laughs> This is the best thing ever. We found the section, huh? I found the noodle stick. This is gonna be the saving grace. The only problem is we don't know which ones are vegan. Instant noodles, they even say it on, like instant noodles. That might have English instructions. This has English, this has English. As far as I can tell, this is vegan. And it's, it's like 80p. Oh my gosh, yay. We found this. Skippy peanut butter. That has got to be safe. So worst case scenario, I can eat bread and peanut butter every day. Found the Oreos. Oreos are vegan. Yeah. Oh look at oh, look at this. This is like so unnecessary. A bucket of Maltesers. <laughs> <laughs> Needed. Oh, we're still not finding anything that's helpful though. But What's that label? They don't no, know. everything. Oh, they've got Biscoff. We know they're vegan. But we've got loads of snacks, that's the problem. We just don't have any real food. And it doesn't look like we're finding any either. Guys, this is very, very wild. But like, and I'm not, I'm not liking it. But also like, I'm kind of drawn to it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate it. I really don't like this. Look at that, that's enormous. Should I just buy some? And then just like, go put them back in the sea or something? <laughs> I feel bad. Literally nothing has English. It will say like snack, main, fried. But then we don't know what anything is. And like, I don't know, I just obviously don't want to eat anything that's not vegan by accident because that would be pretty traumatic. 
absolute carnage is happening so the first thing is as of right now because we literally only just got here we don't have our phones like sorted and we don't really have any kind of way to translate the ingredients hopefully by tomorrow we might have figured that out but right now we don't also it's just started raining we are headed for metro line two sorry about the rain on the camera and we're headed towards is it the tower that we're going for yeah shanghai tower. shanghai tower and we're hoping that somewhere near there we might find something to eat fingers crossed because it is now 12 o'clock so it's definitely lunchtime. we found mcdonald's we're still not gonna be able to read anything it had an english option and i pressed a random button and now we're stuck here yeah english yes Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Right, we need coupons home, multi-personal, right. You, so. You're just saying loads of words now. Okay. Down here. Nothing looks even remotely vegetarian. No. French fries, but we don't know what they're, what they're cooked in. It took us a little while to find the metro station, I'll be honest, but we found it. So, uh, let's go. So this is us, and this is where we're going to get off. Hopefully it should be very straightforward. So, plans have changed a little bit. We got off the stop after we were supposed to get off and in a minute we're gonna go see the bund. But basically I'm feeling very, very rough because I haven't slept in so long and I'm literally starving. So we somehow found this restaurant with a guy who could speak a little bit of English and I've managed to order some tofu with rice. We don't really know much other than that. I really, really hope it's vegan. I showed him a little card that said like, I only eat vegetables, I don't eat meat, but we're gonna just hope for the best uh, and got some boiled rice. There's not really anything for Rach, but hopefully she can get like something like McDonald's or like a sandwich uh, from somewhere after we leave. And then we're just gonna go check out the bund and then we'll kind of see how we feel after that, I think. We aren't sure exactly what's gonna show up, but she just brought us the bill and it was basically like £7.50 for two meals. So we'll soon see, I guess. That's very cheap. Look what Devs has just discovered. That is amazing. Napkins, chopsticks, I forgot what they were called, toothpicks, and like little spoons. That is so cool. And it just closes. Wow, well food has arrived. I'm still a little bit nervous for, I mean, it literally was like three pounds something for all of this food, so I really can't complain. I'm just hoping and praying that it's actually vegan. Other than that, I'm just gonna eat it. Well, this is really, really nice. I'm still not like 100% confident it's vegan, but I'm close enough that I'm willing to eat it because otherwise I'm not gonna eat for a week. Deb's verdict is apparently it's very spicy. It, there's a lot of chilies in there to be fair, and this was the, the one spice level. So basically yeah. if you come to China and you don't like spicy food, be prepared that if it's even got one chili on there, it's probably gonna be too spicy. I really like it, this is so good. That was very enjoyable. I've got like a whole box worth to go because we couldn't eat it all. I took some of Deb's just because it was too spicy for her. Um, but it was called Walkman, so would highly recommend. Um, apparently, it's chucking it down. So that's the next challenge for us. Also, I accidentally got it all down my legs, so that's the, also another challenge for us. Oh, there's the Apple store. Jinx. <laughs> yes. So we've come to McDonald's for Rach because we just need to get some food for it and look what you get if you get a half a meal, so I think that's the plan because yeah. they look really cool. This is so exciting. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so tiny. <laughs> I think this was like two pounds. <laughs> but also, you don't just get chips, you get corn. So you get chips and corn. And, oh my gosh, that's the teeniest box. <gasps> Four chicken nuggets, milk so she can put it in her tea. And, okay, open the toy. <laughs> Mini chip. Okay, not what I was expecting. No. Is, it, is it what you were expecting? No. It's got a crayon. This is a crayon. This is so <laughs> random. Oh, <gasps> cool. And in the back it has puzzles. Oh my gosh, and stickers. And it says Shanghai Vision in the corner. I mean, that is pretty cool. That's a fun souvenir. Also, we got sweet and sour sauce. I'm guessing it's kind of like the same as what we have at home, but there's no, you can't tell what's in it because it's all in Chinese. It's pretty cool though. I feel like that's a good little meal for like two pounds. You can't complain, can you? So we've come into this like mall. It kind of was the back entrance to McDonald's, so we just ended up in here. But look how many stories it's got. This is wild. Look at the ceiling. How weird is that? <gasps> the dungeons. Anyone want to go in the dungeons? No? No, me neither. I don't want to go in there either. That's way too scary for me. 
This is literally so rogue. Isn't it though? What? Like, people are just walking, but it's a road. Well, it's not really a road, but then there's like traffic lights and all sorts. Like, I don't really understand where we're safe. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is literally so cool. Look at that show going on. I know, yeah. So in the desert. Wowzers. Like we're at a street now, there. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, what's it? Oh, what is it called? Yeah, basically we're lost. <laughs> we're having a nice time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is that way. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's very hard to navigate a city where you don't know any of the language and you have like paper maps that don't have all the streets on. It's okay, guys. Problem solved. Rach is quite good at never eating shredded wheat, and we found a sign that says Bundas this way. So here we go. I think we'll be there in maybe like 10 minutes. How cool is that? I've no idea what it is, but it's cool. We're being enticed into chocolate world. What, well, they made of chocolate? Surely not. Surely not. That's, that's crazy. This is insane. It smells like chocolate. <laughs> so, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Anyway, I just went in the shop and bought this water and according to Rach, I accidentally tried to pay with um, a half a penny. I thought, so it was five and I didn't really understand the concept because, you know, I haven't slept in about a week. The, the coins are like P and the notes are like pounds. So I was just I was just giving her a five and she was just looking at me like, right, I need some more than this. And then I found a five note and I gave her and she was like, yeah, that's right. So it's all been resolved, but it was, yeah, it was a close one. I was nearly gonna be there for a long time. But basically it was like, <laughs> it's like 50p for this in the end. But they're pounds and it's just a confusing conversion and really is not that confusing. You just divide by 10 and add a bit. But when you're really tired, it is confusing and I was not getting there. Well, this is the current look. It's very stylish, I assure you of that. I feel like if you've not watched any of my other vlogs, if this is the first video of my you ever seen, it's very chaotic. Um, hopefully it will improve. But literally the weather is not playing right now. It is very rainy. So we're just kind of getting done what we can and trying to stay awake at this point. We found a tourist information center. So we're gonna see if they've got any like things that might be helpful. Uh, and then we're gonna go see the river and then we might even go on the Bund sightseeing tunnel, which I don't really know much about that, but hopefully it's good. Literally everything in here is in Chinese. So you can be a tourist, but you have to be Chinese or be able to read Chinese or Mandarin. But anyway, anything? No? Well, we tried. Cool. We've made it to the Bund, the river, what's it called? The Huangpu River, I think. Sorry if that's not really how you say it. Oh, this is so cool. It would be so much cooler if it was a bit more sunny, but you know, you can't have everything. So we'll take it. So apparently we think this is the tower that we're gonna go up. I don't think today because it's too cloudy and gross, but maybe on Saturday. Yeah, apparently it's like 20 pounds and it's the, Second tallest building in the world, isn't it? No, you can go up. Like, there you can go. Oh, there's got an observation deck. Sorry if any of my facts are wrong because it, I'm not 100% sure, but either way. There's this like Pepsi truck here and you can get water for two, which is like 20 something P and I just paid five for this. So I definitely got ripped off and I didn't realize. Oh yeah, mine was out of a fridge. So I guess perks. You can get Gatorade for eight. So that's like less than a pound. And well, seven up five, it's like 50 summit P. It's pretty good, really. We're going in the Bun sightseeing tunnel. Let's do it. We don't, I don't even know what this is, I don't even know what to expect. Oh, right, okay. And it's really nice. It looks like that. Oh, okay. It has like lights. It's over very quickly, so make sure you video in if you want to get video on it. Okay, let's do it. So it's 50 one way, 70 return, we're just going one way. Thank you. So that's it, we're done. So we've got our tickets for three people. It was 50 each, which is just over five pounds. And it's basically just gonna take us to the other side where the tower is. So uh, let's do it and see how it goes. I don't know what that is. This is so random and there's literally no one else here. Oh my gosh. We really have no, well at least I don't have any preparation for what's about to happen. 
I have been told by Rach though it's not like at the aquarium where it's a see-through tunnel which is kind of a shame this is so cool you go in one of these like little pod things oh my gosh this is literally so cool and like why is no one else doing it <laughs> maybe we're getting truly ripped off for our five pounds but we don't really care this is literally so cool wowzers this is the most random thing i've ever done in my life and I've done some random stuff. This must be quite a wide river. I know we've just seen it, but like, it feels like this is quite long. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't do two ways. I feel like you don't need to go two ways because it's exactly the same. But that is really cool. So we're now on the other side of the river and the Pearl Tower is literally right there. So that's pretty cool. And the uh, the Shanghai Tower is just behind this building. I saw it a second ago. There it is. There's the other tower that we're going to go up, hopefully. There's a little river cruise going on over there. We might go on one of them on Saturday as well. I feel like there's a lot of things that we're not doing today just because one, the weather's not great and two, we're so tired that we will enjoy ourselves more and we have like a proper full day on Saturday. So stay tuned if you want to see us do more of the sightseeing type things in hopefully a more orderly manner, then uh, stay tuned for that. I spotted in the distance this clock. Where even is it? Oh, there. On it, you can't see, it's very far away. It's a little Mickey Mouse. And then we realize right next to it, is the Disney store. So we're gonna go in and then I think we are gonna head back to the hotel. This is so cool. So we've come across the street now so hopefully you can see it a bit better. Oh my gosh, it's literally a massive Disney store. There's a clock face with Mickey in it and it's playing Disney music. <gasps> Woody and Buzz are out there and then there's like statues at the bottom. This is literally so wild. And this is the Disney store. Oh my gosh, this is so random but cool. Anyway, let's go in the Disney store and see what we can find. They're showing the advert for the new Inside Out, what's coming out in June, I think. Cool. Oh, I feel like I'm getting into the magic already. <gasps> Look at Lotso over there. Oh my gosh, it's actually huge. What's in it? Oh, a watch. <laughs> Look at this. That is so cool. Wowzers. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and it's a remote control trackless train. And it's like a hundred and something pounds. That is amazing. If I had space and money to spare, I would be getting that. Here we go. Oh my gosh, amazing. So there's the view of the clock a bit closer up and look at the flower thing. have made it back to like near where our hotel is basically we just got off the tram we thought we were lost but then we weren't lost anymore because i saw dominoes and i thought i'm pretty sure i know where we are but also i've just spotted 7-eleven so we're gonna have a sneaky peek because i feel like 7-eleven is always just a fun venture isn't it this is like the hot food section i feel like whatever that is it looks like um like chicken tenders with like buffalo sauce but it's quite nice I wouldn't, obviously I'm vegan, but like, if I wasn't, I don't know if I'd trust it. <laughs> we found the ice cream section. Oh, look at that panda. Oh my gosh. Or like these. Oh yeah. These look good. Milk ice cream, strawberry milk ice cream. They have haagen -Dazs. It's like, it's four pound. That's quite expensive. Did we? I think, are we lost? We might well be lost. Yeah. Because I think that Domino's is not the same Domino's we went to this morning that we just looked in. It, the one we went in was really tiny. But in that case, then where are we and where's our hotel? Ooh. Oh yeah, we saw that. Place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, it's a good sign. I think we know how to get back. This is really good. These guys are going to get a pizza to chef tea. I've still got leftovers from this afternoon. Hopefully that won't uh, kill me. Oh my gosh, they give you gloves with your pizza. Anyway, this was like about £7. Let's see. 
what it looks like. It wasn't on any kind of deal, or we're not the. I don't actually know. <gasps> Guys, it looks amazing. It looks really good. You'll be happy with that. There you go. So we have now come back to the hotel. It's currently about half past five, but we're not going to go back out because obviously if you've been watching, we've been awake for a very, very long time. Because this vlog has been a little bit chaotic, I'm actually going to tag Saturday's vlog onto the same one as this. So although it's not actually tomorrow, I'm going to include that starting basically after this clip. Um, and you can see all of the Shanghai content in one because I feel like we don't really do that much today, but we have a lot of plans for Saturday. So you'll see the rest of that. And then next week I will be posting the Shanghai Disneyland vlogs for the next three weeks. All right, it is now Saturday morning. We have been to Disney for the last three days and let me just say, stay tuned for those vlogs. We had an absolute blast. It's a little bit later on, it's quarter past one. We've had an easy morning because we did rope drop to fireworks for three days, we needed a rest. So we went down for some breakfast at the hotel. If you wanna see what kind of thing they have, stay tuned for the other vlogs because I've vlogged what we had every other day. Uh, but this morning I just was like, you don't need to see it for a fourth time. So hopefully you will get it on the next three vlogs. Um, we're about to head out, we have a couple of plans. We have have found a vegan restaurant we think and it's near where we're going so I think we're gonna head there for some lunch we are then gonna go to the U garden to look around I think and our other plans are to go in the main tower I think it's called Shanghai Tower it's like the tallest building in Shanghai and I think it's the second tallest view and observation that you can go to in the world which is pretty cool uh, we also have a couple of other bits that we want to do we're gonna cross a little bridge we might go on a boat ride and we just generally want to see the city again so make sure to stay tuned for the rest of this video Let's go. So we're navigating everywhere around here with a paper map and our brains, which is quite good. So this is our map we're using. South is that way, guys, directly that way. Oh. oh. Down that street, look. Are you oh, sure? Look. But we wanted to stay on this main road, didn't we? Well, that's west. Okay, well, it was going well until it wasn't going well. But basically, the good way to do it is if your map, if you have a paper map and the north is the top, then you basically just need to, if you can read maps, and you probably already know this, but I did not really know this because I don't read maps. A lot of the signs have west, east, north, and south on it. If not, get a compass on your phone because you don't need signal for it. And that's a really easy way to navigate yourself around. All right, between us, we figured it out. So this is where we came out of, mostly Rach. Uh, and we are headed south. Yeah, so it says west and east on the sign. It is quite easy. If you like have a paper map, you know where you're going. Yeah, and this is south though. Yes. That's if that's east, then that's west. Yes, never eat shredded wheat. Right, we've got it. We're going the right way now. <laughs> it's basically like being in the olden days, which I wasn't really in that much. <laughs> but these pair were, so they should be able to read maps better, I feel. Yeah. So it's going quite well. Another thing I've found out is that if you have like Apple Maps on your phone, you can actually, I don't know what is doing it through, it must be GPS. If you can see it, there's a little blue dot there and we know where we're going. You can't do the whole navigate to thing. Rachel's isn't working though, so don't count on it. Well basically like, that's an easy-ish way to do it, but you actually still can't like do the routes. You've still got to be able to follow it and figure out where to go. It's not really that hard, but it's a little bit harder than normal, if that makes sense. But don't count on it, because as I say, Rachel's isn't working. So, we've made it to this restaurant. I'll put the name of it on the screen. It was a bit of a situation getting here. We just come into this random building. I'll show you when we go outside where you come in. Okay, so I basically completely forgot when we left the restaurant to show you guys how we got in. But I've put on the screen the instructions we followed. Now, we never actually found the Starbucks, but using these instructions we managed to find it basically if you look for number 49 on the street there's basically building numbers everywhere so it's pretty easy to find and then you go into that building and it should be fairly straightforward ish to find it i hope this helps if anybody's interested at all and um it just says go inside and get in the lift and go to floor two so we just did that and hoped for the best and then when we got up here there was a lady and she had a translator and she just said vegetarian restaurant and we were like yes so we came in and there's literally like a, like there's literally like three tables in here but there's another couple sat next to us who just happened to speak english from australia so they managed to help us because the menu was all in chinese we literally had no idea what to get but now we know it's all vegan we don't really care so we've just ordered some 
random food and we're gonna try it. And it's very cheap. Each dish was like 28, so it's like three pounds. So we've got four different dishes to share between us and we're just gonna hope for the best. This is the first dish, it's noodles. Apparently it's all vegan. It looks like it's got fake chicken in it. I'm gonna try it. Ooh, something else is here, the rice. That's good. Thank you. This is absolute chaos. That is really nice. I feel like maybe we should get another one to take with us. If we can. Beans. This is the rice. Beans. She's talking about noodles, but she's just saying the complete wrong word. <laughs> Let's try the rice. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, this is literally amazing. We now have some wontons, we don't know what's in them, but since they're vegan, we were just like, let's just get them. Yes, and these are the other wontons. So one's kind of like a soup situation, and one's just like a, a dry situation. I wish I could tell you more, but I have no idea what's in here, so apologies. This was a good find. It was kind of, not accidental, but a bit of a fluke, I guess. Let's have a go with a wonton. I think it's just veg inside, but I'm not really sure. It tastes nice, though. So this is the situation. I didn't even show you before because there was other people here. So that's where the people who were English, well they weren't English, they were Australian, but they could speak English, were sat. And then there's two massive tables there and then literally the rest of the room is just empty and they literally just brought this giant fridge in. I have no idea what's going on, but to be honest, vegan food is vegan food and it was very good. So we are pleased mm. and it was cheap. So I've decided I'm gonna get another portion of the noodles and the rice, which is about six pounds to take with us so that I can eat it for tea because I'm nervous that I'm not gonna find anything else for the rest of the day, so then I can just have that later, and then these guys can just like, if they're nervous, can just go to like McDonald's or something, because you know it's gonna be all right. Oh yeah, I think it was three cutleries as well, so to be fair, I probably won't be able to eat two orders on my own, I just thought it's so that I'd know that I won't get hungry. Okay. Well, we just made another friend, a guy from Germany, another person, the first person, one of them was from Germany, but lived in Australia, he was from Germany, he's working here, and uh, we were just chatting to him for a bit, so that was fun. Um, we're now heading to something called Yuan Garden. I don't know if that's exactly how you say it. The problem is, it closed at half past four and it's currently quarter two. So we've got 45 minutes. Now, whether that's 45 minutes to get there and get in, or whether that's 45 minutes to get there, get in and get out, we don't know. So we're just gonna go and hope for the best. Wow, this is crazy, but cool. It's very busy. Wow, chopsticks! I'm gonna buy some of them later. Cool. Like, this is the place to be, I think. We're on the Yu Yuan Garden Malls. We've kind of just ended up here a little bit by accident. But this is awesome. How cool is this building? Wowzers, this is amazing. It's like a maze of like white rabbit, white rabbit sweets. They've got like random knickknacks, clothes. You could literally find anything here. This is literally so cool. We found it. We've got 20 minutes to look around. So the sad news is your last admission was four o'clock and it's like 10 past four, we've missed it. It's 40 to get in, which is just about a little over four pounds. And children, seniors, no, se student and seniors is 20, so that's like just over two pounds. So we've just seen the sign that says the best view of the U Garden at our Teardom Terrace. So we're gonna go up and just see what happens because we might get to see it from above and that's better than not seeing it at all. Yeah. All right, so we found this little like cafe kind of place and it has a view outside. outside. All right, so this is it. So we basically got to see it and it was free. Result. I don't know where, if you went in where you would walk around, but yeah, it's very much the same concept, isn't it? We're seeing it just from here. Wow. There we go, Devs, All happy? They, they just walk around that building, it seems. Well, this is pretty cool. So we've seen the garden is just over that wall. And now we've sat and we've ordered some tea. Rachel's got black tea and Debs has got some flowery tea. Lotus, Lotus. okay. I'm just here for the lols because I don't really drink tea. You can taste them. Um, yeah, I might taste them just for the banter, but um, yeah, and they were about, what, like seven pounds, eight pounds for like a pot of tea, which I mean, it's not exactly cheap, but at the same time, it's like a cool experience. It's not that expensive. So we're gonna sit here for a little while and then I think we'll probably head over to the tower. Well, this is the situation. So this is Debbie's one. It's all in Chinese, so we don't actually know what it says, but apparently it's Lotus. And then this is Rach's, and I think that's, is it just normal tea? It's black tea. Yeah, so, so it's somewhat normal. black tea, then there was four of another tea, oh two white tea, two fruit teas, two flower teas. Oh my gosh. And then 
a lot of other things that I didn't know what was going yeah, on. No, it's Teas. getting quite confusing. The verdict of the tea is my tongue is now burnt, so <laughs> not that enjoyable. They were both just like all right. It's like a fun experience. You get to sit here, you can look at the garden. Like it's not a bad thing. I just like I really don't like tea, so it's not really for me. Well, this was very very fun. What can you see? Oh, like that's like where they're like planting new stuff. Yeah, I would highly recommend this. It was a very cute little experience, although a little bit on the pricey side for like considering the surroundings. We're now headed to try and get over the river and go to the tower. I'm pretty sure they have these lion kind of statues at Epcot and they look just the same. This is so cool. over a bridge it says please line up when walking to GQ bridge let's do it how cool are these clothes oh my gosh this is amazing I'm so glad we found this place this is literally so cool Turtle! That's insane! What the heck? Why is there a turtle in there? I don't know why there's what a turtle. Is going but on? I just saw this it. is awesome! You could genuinely get lost in this place for hours. Like we're just wandering and wandering. There's so much to see. We've just bought two magnets and they were 70, so about less than four pounds each. That's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Bought so myself some chopsticks. Guys, look at that. Fruit on a stick. That's so fun. There's literally quite a lot of tacky shops around here, so if you want to get tacky random stuff. It looks like they've got like the paintbrushes to paint there. Oh. How they write. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, I got a set of two chopsticks that had like the Shanghai skyline on the top and they were 25, so like less than three pounds. I did wonder if they had anything like this here. We can't fit in one though, can we? That's the problem. Otherwise, maybe we'd go in. There's like a whole bamboo forest here. How cool is that? There's a sign over there that says, no trumpets. It's not really a trumpet, it's some type of it's horn. No beeping. No beeping. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I thought it meant no trumpets. It's like the no hands pinching thing. What is it? What's the hands pinching one on the train? Careful, hands pinching or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's like that. This is where we're headed. We have about half an hour, I think, to get there. So hopefully it doesn't take us that long. Literally everything here counts. Like the pedestrians get a count, the drivers get a count. The other day in our driver's taxi, I don't know if I said it on the vlog. Oh, you won't have seen it yet if I did, but you'll soon see. The taxi, the sat nav was counting down to when the lights were gonna go green and the, the wall wasn't. It was so weird. Right, now we need to locate a bridge because that is across a river. So let's hope. Just a small river. Yeah, <laughs> unless we're good swimmers, we might not be able to get there very easily. Now this is where it gets complicated. There's no bridge, but on the thing there is something, but I think they're tunnels. But I don't know if you can walk through them. It's only there. We just don't know how to get there. So, uh, yeah. All right, so Rach just asked a random like security guy, how do we get over there? And he Google translated it, or not Google, but he translated it. And he says, there's a ferry over here that takes you to the other side. So that is what we're gonna do. He did say it's a kilometer though, which is kind of far. We're quite limited on time. So we're gonna have to be quick. And hopefully, I'm guessing the ferry's not expensive, but I'll tell you how much it is when we get there. We have found the most fancy boat ever. It's literally got a dragon's head over there and then the tail's at the back. And it's literally just like insane. I'm guessing, that, yeah, it looks like there's a restaurant on it. Well, we've located the little boats. There's two just here and then it just takes us over there. I don't know how well you could see that because it's kind of far away and we're walking fast because we don't have that much time. But this seems like it's gonna be good. It only looks like it takes like a minute or two to get across, so it's not gonna take too long. And I'll let you know how much it costs. 
An alternative to this is you can take the train across because that's kind of what we did. There's the train we went on the other day that like had the lights on or you can just go on like the regular train down here or you can just go on like the regular train like the metro system with your ticket so we could have done that but we weren't in the right place so that's why we didn't do that. So hopefully this is easy. Here we go. This route accept payment in coins, 2 yuan per ride. 20p? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's 20p. Okay, this is good. <laughs> this is very good. It's 20p. Sweet. <laughs> okay, this is how you pay in cash. One, two, off we go. Way. This is cool. I can't believe it's 20p. That's such a bargain. <laughs> this is a good river cruise to go on. If you want to go on the water, don't bother with the 15 pounds one. <laughs> this is well good. Yeah, this is great. There's no other way unless you go on the train. You might, you could probably drive across. You can't walk across. This is awesome. There's seats up here. Oh, there's an outside. Let's go outside. This is so cool. Wow, it's quite busy. Awesome. Caution, risk of pinching hand. That's not what it says on the other one. I think this is better translated than the other one. The lights are literally just all turning on on the buildings. <laughs> this is so cool. We're going to have a good view from up there, I hope. Yeah. I hope we'll be able to catch the end of the light and the, then the dark. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah. This is so fun. <laughs> That is a lot of 20 p's just there. Yeah, that's the if you make it cheap, you can make your money back. Yeah, every, they must do hundreds of these a day, mustn't yeah. they, with hundreds of passengers on. Well, that's where we're going, so that was very convenient. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I hope we don't have to take the stairs. Look how tall it is! All right, here we are. There's a Starbucks in there. You can see the sign that says Ticket Office. Ticket Office, I've said that very poshly. And um, we have about 10 minutes until the time, so hopefully... Whoa, okay then. We haven't actually bought a ticket. Ah, we're about to get run over at every single angle. Um, hopefully they have tickets spare and we can just go in and buy one on the door. We haven't really like planned this so well. So hopefully it works out for us. We're gonna ask what Sky 632 is because we don't know, but these are the prices. If you don't know, basically divide it by 10 and add a little bit. Adults is about 20 pounds ish. And then basically, it's either 180 for an adult, every other kind of category is 120, and a small-ish child is 90, and a under three or less than a meter is free. Okay, so we've worked out that the Sky 632 is just a light show. Thank you. Uh, also, just so you know, you all have to show your passport, so make sure if you want to come here, you bring your passport, so otherwise you won't be able to go in. These are what the tickets look like. That's well fun. Okay, let's go. There's a cute, like, photo op. We're not gonna get one, because we don't really want to buy a photo, but if you want to, you can. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. So they've got Patronus Towers, One World Trade Center, New York City, The Shard, London. In 1885, the tallest tower in the world was Chicago Home Assurance Building at 55 meters, 12 stories. And then the New York World Building at 94 meters. New York Manhattan Life Insurance Building, 106. New York Park Row Building. New York has a lot. 119. New York Singer Building, 186. New York Metropolitan Life Insurance Company Tower, 213. New York Woolworth Building, 241. New York Bank of Manhattan Building, 282. New York is ruining this a bit. New York Chrysler Building, 319. New York Empire State Building, 381. New York One World Trade Center, 417. Chicago Sears Tower, 442. Kuala Lumpur Petronas Towers, 451. Taipei oh, 101 in Taipei, 508. And Dubai Burj Khalifa, 828 meters. That is pretty cool, isn't it? And that was 2010. 
That's quite recent really, isn't it? The tallest buildings in the world and we're in the second one! Yep. So the Burj Khalifa is 832 meters and this is 632 and it was only built in 2015, that's pretty new. So they've put on here that apparently the Jeddah Tower was expected to be finished in 2021, I guess it hasn't been because of Covid, but that's going to be the new tallest building in the world at 1000 plus meters. Wowzers! We'd still be in fourth place, even with the two new ones that I don't think exist. This is very interesting, yeah. actually. Oh, it started back in the 90s. Wow. It says over there somewhere about how many floors. It's got 127 floors above ground level and five below. Ooh. It's got the tallest wind turbines, the tallest green building. It's got a luxurious five-star hotel and the highest restaurant, the tallest oh, hotel oh, lobby. Singapore with a view. Cool, that must be higher than that one in Singapore then, I guess. Yeah, on the top. The tallest sky garden museum, the tallest sky gardens, the biggest patio garden banquet hall. This is so cool. I feel like so far this is definitely worth 20 pounds to come in. We've not even gone up there yet. Pyeongchang 2018 and Winter Olympics, that makes sense. Don't touch it. No touching. <laughs> They've even got the world's tallest 3D printing model, apparently. It's right there. <laughs> well, this is interesting. We're going down an escalator. Top of Shanghai journey begins. Well, this is good. There's no queuing, really, is there? No. Green elevators saving up to 30% energy. <gasps> this is so exciting. We can see this sign over here, and it's the Guinness Book of World Records about something, but we're too far away to read it. We think it might say that it's the fastest elevator in the world. All right, okay. Yes, it is. The fastest lift elevator, 73.8 kilometers per hour. Sorry, that was very rushed because we need to get in the lift, but that is cool. Let's go. I'm kind of nervous. I'm very squished. There's like a million people in here. It's going to say speed that we're going at. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You can't really feel it. We're going at three. We're going at 70 We're at five meters above the ground. Seven meters. Seven, eight. I need to equalize. 50 meters. 70 meters. We're at 100 meters. We're at 15 meters per second. 200 meters. Two, oh my gosh, this is crazy. You really can't feel it except you have to equalize. 300 meters. 350. Oh, we're on floor 89. 400 meters. Wow. Can you get altitude sickness up here? <laughs> oh, we're nearly there. 500 meters. Ooh. Wow, that is so fun. <laughs> This is awesome. The view's not amazing because we're in we're in the clouds. You can see the clouds down there. This is in, yes, we are properly inside the clouds. You can literally see them. They are clouds. There's a bridge. I don't know if you can walk on it, but that's the only bridge we've seen across the river. Guys, look at the clouds. This is literally insane. Oh, the bottle opener. Oh wow, that is so cool. In the clouds. I love it. This is amazing. in your hand they've got all these like locks on here which I guess people have bought and put on here but they don't have like names on they're all the same oh that person's written on theirs maybe they've just come off I don't know but that's fun apparently this is for, for wishes what are these I don't know you buy them I guess in the shop and, and then you tie them on there for wishes, wishes. that's fun what's this, this is a top of Shanghai guide. visitor guide Ooh. Cool. Got a Michelin yeah, star restaurant in here. Right. Oh. But there's, but no, there's view. no view. So that's the other thing you can do. It's up there, but you can't see out from it. So that's the radio tower just there. And then that's the bund down there. And then there are the clouds. Just there. It just feels a little bit woozy. So if you don't like the woozy feeling, maybe take like a motion sickness tablet i don't know if that would help or not i think it would yeah it's not too bad like it's manageable but if you get really motion sick then be aware of that because it does 
feel a bit woozy. All right, we're going up to the 119th floor. Let's go. There's a cafe over there apparently. We'll go have a look at that in a minute. If you want a bit of a quieter view, come up to 119 because it is literally dead up here. Downstairs, like, there's pretty much people all along. Like, you can definitely see it's fine, but it's so much better up here. I'm sure this is obvious to anybody that's ever done anything fun in their life, which hopefully is all of you guys, but this camera does not do it justice. Like, it's so much prettier than it looks through the camera. Like, this is definitely something very cool to do if you've got the time and the money. And you're obviously in Shanghai, because if you're not, might be a bit difficult. The only problem with this floor is that you can't go all the way around. So it's good to go all the way around the floor below, but then for like better photo opportunities and stuff, come up here. Looks like they have like a fancy restaurant up here. The other side is definitely a cafe, but this looks quite posh. So if you want to come for a nice meal, I don't know if you have to book, I'm not really sure but you definitely can come and eat up here, like an actual meal. Let's have a gander at what they've got. Looks like cakes, some description, and ice cream, and then drinks, I guess. So let's think of something like classic. What do normal people get from this kind Latte. of a place? Latte, how much is that? Oh, a Coke, 18. That's like two pounds. That is very cheap for a place like this, that's insane. English breakfast tea. There you go, now we're talking. It's like four pounds though. I think that's more expensive. Oh, they've got street food. They've got French fries, popcorn chicken, chicken wings, and German sausage. Ice cream's about a fiver. But all of the food, I think, was five pounds, basically. Except chocolate cake and velvet and rose cake are six. How, how much is beer? Five pounds. Water's four pounds. Why would you buy water for four pounds when you can buy Coke for two pounds? That's my question. Seven up, 18. That's a bargain. We're now just going for a little gander in the shop, see what they sell up here. 98% dark chocolate. That has got to be pretty dark. It's still all in Chinese, but I feel like if it's 98% chocolate, it's probably fine. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, they got cute snacks going on. A Shanghai Tower, like, replica type situation. It's in a freezer, I'm guessing it's ice cream. A Shanghai Tower ice cream for three pounds. Huh? Oh yeah, that's a cute bag. It's like seven pound fifty-ish. The, the, the prices are very good. So if you want to come here and actually buy a souvenir, that's reasonable, I would say. And they have just like random toys too. Yeah? Why are you full naming me? No, it's not been mentioned anywhere. But it's representing a dragon, that's why oh. there's that curve going through it. Cool! This is all about a dragon going up it. So we've been up here for about an hour and we're ready to leave. You can stay for two hours apparently, or to be honest, you could probably stay as long as you want because nobody's like gonna just kick you out, I don't think. But we've had enough, so we are now gonna head back to the hotel. Just a warning, once you've gone back down the lift, there's like a huge shop that you have to go through, so if there's nothing you want at the top, don't be disheartened <laughs> because there's literally a massive shop right at the bottom. Look at these chocolates. Oh, cool. How much is it? Secret price. Alright, we don't know how much it is, but it's fun. And these are also quite fun. They're 1.3 per gram, I think that's what it says. That seems a bit random. Handmade sliced candy. Yeah, that's random. It's like rock. Yeah. It's cool. Rock. And it's like 90p. Just less than a pound for a little jar of rock. They've got a chocolate fountain over there. How fun. Yeah, these look well nice. Very, Very fancy. Because nobody eats desserts. Oh yeah, people don't seem to eat desserts in this country. It doesn't seem to be that much of a thing. Ooh. Again, we don't know like what anything is because there's no English ingredients. So we're too scared to buy any like random packaged food because we don't know what it is. This is Shanghai cake and apparently it's Worcestershire sauce flavour. That does not sound fun. No. I told you that the desserts aren't fun here <laughs> you did not believe me so it just so happens that rach gets a drive crate every month which is basically an f1 merch box and this month's was china and it came with these white rabbit sweets and it says you just happened to try them like last week these guys are considering to get a different flavor but the problem is we don't know what the flavors are i can't have them because the one she had had both milk and gelatin in so i definitely won't be part of this but they're about a pound for one of these little packets so i feel like that's pretty fun that's the original yeah maybe pink 
You don't know what's safe, do you? It doesn't make any difference. I'd get a white one again. They've gone mad. They're going for three. That's three pounds there. Oh, I choose, uh, we found a new they're like the pennies. The same? Penny? They're the same. They're the same. Yeah, the same. Uh, so oh, what? Is, that's one. That's one. One yuan. One yuan. And this is like a two half. equals one yuan. Oh. Yeah, I was right. That is a half. Oh, yeah. cool. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now we kind of know what's going on. No, they have like a huge restaurant over there, by the way, and like a little cafe place here. So there's plenty of places to eat if you want to just do this. There's another place there, and another place there. There's like a million restaurants. Let's have a gander. Oh, that's fun. No, that's part of the sweet. Yeah, this is what Rachel went through last week. She was confused too. The flavor's okay. It's the texture. It's so hard. It's so hard. Yeah. What kind of flavor is it? Do we know? Milk flavor. Milk. Oh. Yeah. The last thing we're gonna do is try and stand between all three towers and maybe get a cool photo. We saw one inside that gave us the inspiration. Debs is falling over over there, I think. Oh yes, this is good. This is it. So these are like the three main buildings. Apparently that one's like a needle. That one's like a bottle opener, and that yeah. one's like a dragon. We learned that off a random Malaysian lady we found. We're going in 7-Eleven just because, you know, we've done a bit of culture, and now we can do a bit of random looking in shops. <laughs> it's always fun. Look at the crisp selection. They have so many crisps. Noodles. They've got Pringles. Onion rings. Still quite worrying though, because you don't know. Oh, what did you want to try? Oh my gosh, that's weird. Shrimp flakes. <laughs> oh, this is my kind of section. The noodle bit. Yum. I just don't know what's in any of them and I don't dare risk it. Look at these cucumber flavor crisps. Grandma, I'm buying you a pack of these. <laughs> if you don't know my grandma, she'll definitely be watching this. She hates cucumber. And if she doesn't comment, we know she hasn't watched. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. They actually have some like chocolate brands we know around here. Kinder. Snickers. Hershey's. Dove, that's like American, but we, we know of it. Lint. Kit Kat. What's going on over here? Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, there's like all of these items. If you were brave, you could try one of them. Slushes? Are they slushes? Yeah. Cola and apple. <laughs> that's a guess. It, it definitely is. Look oh. Right there. You're not oh yeah. Cool. We've just made it to the station, which is literally inside the tower, but it's taken us about ten minutes to get here. The first train is at ten past six or two minutes to six, and the last is at ten past eleven or two minutes to eleven. Oh, that's line fourteen. These ones are line two. Yeah. Basically, it's early in the morning till pretty late. So unless you're going on like a a clubbing venture, which I don't really know how much of a thing that is here. You club? You can leave at 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it's like 8 p.m. or something, I'm not sure, and this is rammed. Let's get in. There's not going to be any chance to sit down in here. No. We're just at Domino's getting these guys a pizza, but we've tried the pink, and by we, I mean they, the pink one. You might think strawberry? Yeah. Could be raspberry? No. It's almond flavour, so that's kind of random. We're now onto the orangey coloured one. What does it smell like? Oh. Okay, I feel like that's the best reaction so far. Oh, so that's actually quite normal. That is the robot. How fun. Oh, we didn't get in. <laughs> It's coming up. Whoopsie. And we are now back at the hotel room for the night. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed watching us explore Shanghai, even if it might have been a little bit chaotic. Make sure to stay tuned for the next three videos to see us go over to Shanghai Disneyland. If you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye.